In our previous videos, we created the nav menu and we refined it a tiny bit for the mobile menu, but there is something that is a little bit annoying. If I just click here on Responsinator, which is a free tool, can you see the mobile menu? That's about as best as we can get. We can stylize it, we can do the typography, we can move it up and down, but that is about the best you get. The problem is that at the moment, Bricks Builder haven't brought out a mobile menu builder and they are working on that. It is in the roadmap and it is coming soon, but until then, this is what we're gonna get. And I just feel like we need to do a bit more because what if you wanna show social sharing icons, a subscription form, an image, an advert, um, more than just the menu, right? And with other page builders, you can do that. With Bricks Builder, you are limited. Because over here with the nav menu, that's about as much as you can do. You could, if you want, go over to your menu. You know, in appearances, menus, you can add a custom link in. Here's what I mean. We're over in the menu. I'm gonna go into a custom link. I'm gonna call this one Facebook in the custom URL and add that to the menu. And now when we click the mobile menu, Facebook is there. I mean, you could obviously use a bit of HTML to put an icon in there as well. But the slight limitation is that unless you're very funky with your coding, when you click that, it's gonna take you out of the site. Unlike other icon lists or social sharing, you can say, open it in a new window. And yes, I know you can do that with HTML. What I'm getting at is that there is a limitation. So what if we wanna add in our own drop down menu system on here? And the way to do that is by using the nestable accordion. At this point, you're probably panicking because we've not covered any of the nestable widgets. In fact, we've not really covered many widgets in here, but I'm gonna use that now so hopefully you'll get a better understanding as I build it, but we're gonna build our own mobile menu using that. Now it is a little bit fiddly, don't get me wrong, but it does work, so just follow these steps. Now to make it easier for myself, I am gonna remove some of the things I have on here. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this icon list completely. I and mean, I'm gonna move the nav menu to actually be sat with the, uh, the logo. Let me just rearrange that very quickly like that and get rid of that other spare container we had so we've got the heading in the nav menu make sure this container is definitely spaced between which it is so so far so good we've kept it really really simple so we're back to where we were about three or four videos ago section container and we got two elements now into container sorry into the section we're going to add in another container now when we do that what we basically have, if you look carefully, we have section and two containers. Let's go to the section, ensure that we have column. So now what we have is we have container two below container one. Now you're probably gonna look at that and go, well, what have you done that for now? You've just made a really ridiculously big header. What we're gonna do is drop a nested accordion into container two, and then we're gonna overlap them. All right, and it will make sense. Believe me, it will totally make sense. I've renamed my containers. We have the main container, the original one, and we have the new mobile menu dropdown. I'm gonna go over to my elements and type in nest, and we're gonna use the nestable accordion. I'm gonna drop that into the new container. Now, when you do that, you will get quite a lot of stuff appearing. This might feel a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry. Click on the accordion, and you'll now see two items. I'm gonna get rid of the second one, like that. So we just have one item. Now, the way it works is, and let me just decrease this for a moment so you can see it properly. We have the, well, the holder of the widget. We have a block, that's your item. And then we also have a title and a content. Now, this is where you gotta be a little bit careful, okay? This title is the bit that's gonna be like the trigger. Okay, so don't delete that. Don't think, oh, I'll get rid of all of that and just have the content block. No, you gotta have both of them. The content block is where we will then put in our nav menu and anything else. So what I'm gonna do for now is I am gonna get rid of the rich text for that content. And over here, I am gonna get rid of the heading. I'm gonna keep the icon because we will be using it. Now I know you can't see it because it's not been set yet, but don't worry about that. We are gonna be using that in a moment. Now just to make things a little bit clearer, I am gonna copy this nav menu that we currently have and I'm gonna paste it into the content block. Can't see it at the moment because it's not been activated. So over here, this is actually the toggle and now it drops down. Let's make things a little bit clearer for ourselves. But before we do that, okay, before we start working on the content properly, I wanna just address something because we do have two nav menus and we have to ensure that only one of them is visible on the mobile and not the other. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over to our original nav menu that we have over here. I'm now gonna go over to my mobile view, go to style, 
scroll down until you get to miscellaneous, which is here, and I'm going to put this to be none. I do not need that toggle to be visible at all, okay? Now, you will notice there's already a toggle here as well. So look, we've got an accordion, and then we get a toggle, which will then be the menu, which looks a little bit odd, right? But don't worry, we will address that as well. I've gone back to the desktop view because we are going to go to the accordion again. We're going to go to style, scroll down until we get to miscellaneous, and I'm going to set this to be none. By doing that, it is going to be invisible, basically, across every viewpoint that we have here, the breakpoints. What we then do is go over to the mobile. It is still invisible. Again, go to style, go to miscellaneous, and now I'm just going to make this be flex. So it, on every other breakpoint, it's not there, and we have the original nav menu. But on the mobile, the original nav menu is invisible, it's not there, it's on a non, and now the accordion is visible. Does that make sense? Now what we'll do is, before we go on to actually do the contents, let's just go to the icon, go to content, and let's just set that. I'm going to change this to be font awesome solid, and I'm pretty sure if I type in, yeah, there you go, it's on bar. So we are now going to go and get that bar in. Now at the moment, it's still not visible there, because we haven't set the style of it. Go to typography, let's set the color to be yellow, and we'll now do the size as well. I'll go with REM3, which probably is a little bit big actually, we'll go with 2.5 REM, something like that, okay? You can adjust it accordingly to how big you want it. Now at the moment, the trigger is on the left-hand side, so I'm just going to go over to my title block that is the holder of the trigger. I'm going to set the direction to be column. I'm going to set the main axes to be in the center, and I'm going to set the cross axes to be at the end like that. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory what we got going on there. Um, I mean, I could have done it with the row, and then you would basically be swapping these out like that to get the same effect. So, you know, go with whatever one works for you. I'm just going to go to the style, though, and I am just going to give this a little bit of spacing on the padding. 15 should be enough. Now we'll go to the nav menu that we've already added. We need to now undo that and ensure we don't get that toggle. Let's go to the content, ensure that this option here is set to never because we don't want to see it. And now I'm going to set the alignment to be a column. Can you see what we've done there? So now if I click this, it will appear down like that. We do need to do a bit of styling here though, okay? If you do have any previous styling from the previous mobile menu, you can undo all of that. We're only bothered by the top level one and, you know, adjust things accordingly. So I've got rid of any margin space there. Just going to get rid of this little bit of margin that we had here as well. There we go. So that's all now moved over. I'm going to add a bit of spacing and we're going to ensure that applies to everything we add into here. So I'm going to go to the main item now that contains everything. It's not this block or the content block, you might go over here, go over here to say the padding and go, well, let's put 50 and nothing happens. Okay. So don't be fooled by that. Go over to the item, the entire recording as it is for that particular item. And I'm going to over here, just put in some padding of about 30 just to bring things over. Let's add in some further items. Let's go for the icon list. So we're going to drop that in just here like that. In fact, I've put it in the wrong place. There we go, it's now in the right place there. I'm just gonna double check that this icon, this hasn't yet, it's already got some pre-built settings in. So let me just undo all of those. I'm gonna go to my content. I'm actually gonna get rid of all of these items because I'll be duplicating it. I'm just doing this in a really quick way. I'm gonna get rid of the label, get rid of the background color, add in a yellow color there. We'll go to typography. We'll make this be 2REM. In fact, if I go back to content, because I forgot to do this, the important bit actually, is to ensure that this has a link. So if we go down here to external URL, I'm just going to pop in a address and we're also going to say open this in a new tab. Again, this is pretty, pretty important if you don't want it to just go wherever you want. I'm going to duplicate these really quickly like that. Don't worry about how close they are. We will address that in a moment, okay? And I'm going to change this one to be Facebook and LinkedIn and obviously you would have changed the URL. Now, once we've done that, if you go back over to style, can you see here where you have the margin? I'm now going to change this to be, well, let me show you what happens if I do 100, right? They're pretty spaced out now. If I go with 50, you know, you get the kind of idea. Let's just go with 30 for now. So we just have that and we'll go with 30 along the top, just a bit of spacing there. Now I'm going to add in one more item and we will go for a form. So let's just drop a form in right there. Again, you might just need to rearrange it as you pop it in. I'm not gonna go through a form, that will be a separate video, but really simply, we're gonna get rid of the message, 
We're gonna get rid of the name, go to email. We will ensure that this is definitely 100%. It is required. You can change your details about that, how you want it to look. Let's just close that down. We'll go to submit button. Let's change the text to be, we'll make the width of that be 100%. We'll go to typography. I'm gonna make this be a uppercase like that. We won't, uh, no, we will change the weight of it. Let's go for 700 and we'll change the background color to be the yellow that we're currently working with at the moment. Now you will notice here though that this again is cropped up or cramped up right to the top. If I go to style, if I go to layout, I'm just gonna add in about 30 there as well. You could have made this whole drop down, this entire block be a certain height. So if we go here, you go to style and do your height over here and then you space evenly or between or however you wanna do it. Now the one little problem we do have though is that this is currently going all the way to the right. So I'm just gonna to go to the form go to layout and I am gonna bring this in uh, from the right hand side. So if I was to go with 30 like that, that brings it in. If you wanna do a bit more, you can do that, okay? Or you could just leave it going all the way across. I think a little bit of padding always works really well in my opinion. Now, if we save that, okay, and we were now viewing this, let me just close it. Can you see what's going on at the moment? Now at the moment we don't have any content here so I'm going to very quickly add something in because I do want to make a point about the accordion and how it will operate. Now I've added in some fake images just so you can see the content. Let me now just expand on this okay and it's not in the right place yet we are going to adjust that but we now have our menu, social sharing icons and etc etc. It's not sliding in for the left or right I know yeah you could go and do some more funkier coding on that but for simplicity straight out the box, in a way, with a nestable accordion, you can do something like this. But here's the slight problem, watch this. It's pushing everything down. Now, if you want that, fine, go with it. But what if you don't want that? What if you want it to overlap? Well, let's just go back over here. Make sure you are again in the mobile because that's where we're doing everything. Go over to your accordion. Make sure in the style tab, go down to positioning and I'm gonna make this be absolute. Now, when we do that, it moves up. Now, don't be fooled, because there is this still this little bit of this empty space that's being created uh, by this item block over here. Bit difficult to sort out, but I'll show you what we can do. Back over to our second container, we've just made it be an absolute. What we also need to do though is make the items within there be um, accessible. So I'm going to go over to my accordion now, and I'm gonna make sure that this Z has a Z index of 998. This is pretty important because if you don't do that, um, well, you gotta make sure you can still click it. But the reason I've gone for 998 is because I now want my heading to have a Z index of 999, which I've got over here. Because if you didn't do that, there's a chance that, because this kind of is like quite almost full width, it's going to overlap onto the header and you wouldn't be able to click the header if the header had an internal link like going back to your home page. Now, so far we've done this, but there is still going to be a problem. Let me show you. If I now click on this, it is now overlapping. But can you see we have a background color here? Well, it's transparent, sorry. So we got to give it some color. So here's what we do. We go to the second container. We go down to the sizing now in the style tab, okay? and we go to the maximum height, because at the minute that is quite big, it does not need to be that big. Now you might go, well why don't I just do the height here? Well let me show you, you can do that as well, um, but if you want to set a max height, that's not a bad idea. Now I've set that to 50, you know, it's not a bad idea to do the same like that as well. Um, so I'm now just gonna hit uh, save there. You go over to your content, okay, so this is the content that holds everything. And we are gonna adjust things. You're gonna say, well, why don't you just do it from the get-go? Because I want you to understand how what we did looked fine, and now we just gotta tweak it a little bit. So if I go to the background color here and I give it that dark color there, and I now just save this. This is the content, okay, the block that contain everything. You're gonna see very quickly what happens when I now do this. It will now overlap, but you're gonna get a gap. Can you see the gap over there? There's a little bit at the top as well, just here. So let's sort that out. Into the content, I'm gonna say, give me about minus two, just so we get a bit more of a better overlap. 
If we go over to the item, you can clearly see here, this is where we've got it. So let's take that off. Now I did find a little bit of a problem with getting these items to move across. So instead I've taken the slightly easy route where for each of these individual items, just added in 30 uh, pixels from the left for all of them. And over here as well, we'll just add in 30 like that. So if we now save that and we go back over to our menu and we just refresh this, you got your content on your page, you got your header, and that's still gonna have a link for you to go to wherever you need to go to. You click that, you now get an overlapping drop down menu, which you could have whatever content you wanna have, and then you got your subscribe, you got your icons, and you got your social icon lists or anything you want. So this is taking a bit of a hack way, and there's gonna be loads of people that have got better, simpler ways out there. Please put them in the comments. I'm always willing to learn alongside with you as well. But if you wanna create a bit of a like a mobile menu builder, you could do that with this solution here. Um, there is quite a bit to go through, but as long as you get your nestable accordion right, as long as you ensure that your container here, if you just go back through what the layout I did here, which was I made it an absolute, okay? Bear in mind as well, when it comes to your accordion, make sure you sort out your Z indexing as well, which we've got 9998 here. If you've got anything else in the section or container it sits in, give that a Z index of 99999. So it is still clickable. Um, and then you might need to mess around with your margins and paddings a little bit. I think you can make it work for you really, really well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.